Good evening, everyone. Um, a long time no see, and <laughs> still it's not going to be uh, too soon when I'm going to come back, let's say, with more videos. I have some uh, half done, but uh, they will not be never finished because I have problems with my cameras and smartphones and so on. I'm still recording on something which is piece of junk. You see, you know. Um, I just wanted to make a quick videos, a video about um, uh, reversing an induction motor. Um, it is for my one larger project. I will not show you the details because this is going to be a little bit more fun. Um, uh, the thing is I need a motor, induction motor for uh, driving this new project and um, the only one I had was a pump. This pump, um, which uh, unfortunately was completely, um, well, fortunately for me, <laughs> the water compartment was completely cracked. You know, there was uh, issues with gaskets and so on, uh, but the engine is running completely uh, well and, you know, it never overheated or something like that. Re really good condition motor. The only problem was that, you know, it's a free wire interface. So unfortunately, not reversible from the top of, of it. Um, I was thinking about, you know, reversing the um, stator of it, but unfortunately not in this case. This is not a split uh, case, so it's a, it has complete uh, bottom. I also thought about removing the stator out of the case and uh, that's why I drilled these two holes over here and uh, then I used the torch, heat it up to about like 150, maybe 200 degrees, you know. I put a drop of water, it evaporated almost instantly. Um, but unfortunately, even, you know, using this pin to uh, hammer down a little bit on the, on the um, stutter, it didn't move even for a millimeter. I, I made a marking over there, it didn't move anything. So I went to the, the path that I really wanted to avoid, that is to find the center tap. And uh, I found it, and it seems to be the simplest solution possible. Um, in this case, I mean, it's not necessarily that you will be in the same position, but uh, I didn't find on YouTube anyone showing actually this, how it may look. So, um, as you can see, this uh, motor has a thermal um, fuse over here. And uh, this goes to the, um, let's say, you would call it, call it the base or, you know, the, the main tap. And after that, both of the coils are connected in here. Meaning the start coil and the running coil. The running coil is the, the, the darker, thicker wire and this is the start coil. So now what I need to do is basically split this one out take the thicker the thinner wire cut it off and um, basically connect this one here and this one will take place of this one okay so this is how it looks now right now one of the cables is still connected to the black one the thicker one and the um, thinner one is connected to the new piece of wire, a uh, blue one. I decided to do it like this because, you know, just a precaution, maybe uh, in the future I would like to uh, run it both ways, you know, so it's better to have four leads right now. Um, now um, I isolated the connections with a captain tape, um, you know, and uh, now I'm trying to uh, make a proper uh, weaving here, you know, to keep this stuff in the place. Um, I'm using a thread that I pull out from a 
uh, asbest uh, blanket, uh, you know, the one that you would use for um, putting, off, uh, putting out fire. Um, you know, the reason is because, you know, the last thing you want here is when the engine will start to get into higher temperatures that something will start to glow red in here and, you know, increasing further, increasing further the temperature and making a big mess inside. And So as you can see the engine is running and it's running right now in the opposite direction than it did before and uh, just for safety <laughs> um, the only thing now I need to do to reverse direction take these two blue cables blue and blue red and flip them over and they will it will go back in the opposite direction so that's it um, i hope it is useful for someone and if not whatever uh, more videos coming soon